Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to change your um your rear brakes, your back brakes on a um Chevy Equinox. So what you wanna do first is take out these. First of all, you wanna squeeze in the caliper. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the caliper in to get um to get the piston to go in. All right. All right. So um, when you go ahead and just turn. Squeeze in the caliper, which I'm doing right now. Squeeze that in, and so the piston can go in. All right. And then you want to remove this right here. That's one right there, and another one right here. That's another one right there. So those two, and take off the bracket on the caliper together. All right. All right, so they're gonna be um 15, 15 millimeter. All right, so they're gonna use a 15 millimeter and take that off. Go to them. So this gonna be 15 millimeter right here. And the top over here is gonna be 15 millimeter. both of them as you can see one here and one at the top over there and then this can come out like this let's cut this up somewhere over there all right so after that now what you want to do is take out this torque right here and that's going to be um i'm going to double check and i'm going to tell you what what size torque is it all right, so it's gonna be a T T thirty. Take that off. And you wanna rock yourself, all right? And it will come off like that. Here you wanna just spray some WD forty, not WD forty, some brake cleaner and clean here. And also you want to um, retract this, <coughs> you want to retract the parking brake. Let me see if I can show you. You want to retract it in, alright? Alright, so I go ahead and I retract the, um, retract the adjuster for the parking brake. So what this do is make it easy for you to um, put on the new rotor because sometimes the new rotor may be a little thicker than um, the old one and it will give you a hard time to go on. So when you take this in, it will make it more easy for you to put it on, alright? Alright, so here goes nothing. And also, you want to clean your rotor too. 
What this do is remove the oil that they put on put on the rotor to keep it from getting rust during um storage. So you wanna go ahead and clean all that up. Like that and um let it dry or you can wipe it down and then you put it on. I was gonna put some grease behind here, but it's already have some grease there, so I'm not gonna put any there because they have grease already. All right, so if yours don't have grease behind here, you can go ahead and put grease there, all right? All right, so go ahead and make sure you line up where your screw goes, right here, where the screw goes on the oh. So what you want to do is take out this rubber piece out the hold out the out of the old motor and just take it out. And this is where um you turn it to like that. You turn it to inside. Um, let me see. All right there. You're looking for that right there. But that right there, um, it's not focusing on it. But well, you're looking for that right there to adjust your um your brakes, your brake rotor a little bit. All right, not your brake rotor, your emergency brake. I mean, to adjust your emergency brake a little bit. So you go ahead and adjust it. Not too tight. Just adjust it a little bit and that's it. After that, go ahead and put your rubber. See how in. That's to keep out the dust from getting in. And also, um, now it's time to put back your caliper. So you come over here, get your caliper. Get right there. Get your um, 15 millimeter. Tighten it up at this point, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. So you wanna tighten both of them up. Both of your 15 millimeter. Very, very good and try not to break it so um what I'm gonna do now is take off my um 14 millimeter that holds um, the caliper so I'm gonna take it off right there and that's 14 millimeter right there so take it off Can just lift it up like this. Alright. So um what 
what you want to do is take this out right here. You hold the hold this like this. Take out the rubber piece. Okay, so I, what I check for is grease, and they have enough grease, so I'm not going to grease that one. And this one moves freely as well, and they have enough grease, so... And the boots, the rubber boot around it is not weather-worn, it's not cracked, and it's not um, leaking any grease or anything, so um, it's good. So I'm going to move from that and go to the pad. I'm going to take off the pad. So, you just need to get a flathead screwdriver. And go in here with the pad. Take it off. Like that. Take them out like that. Nothing hard in it, alright? So now, you want to get your, get your brake hardware. And that's where the um, pads sit. So you just want to knock, knock it up a little bit. Let me show you. It's right here. You take them off like that. The top one is the same. Hold on. Not like that, all right. So now I want to put on this one. So I put this like this. Line it up on both sides, all right. Do it for the top. Watch your fingers for that. So um, that's it. Now it's time to put your pads in. You have two type of pads. You have one that don't have any wear indicator. Go ahead and put it on on the outside. Put this one on from the outside with the wear, with the, um, without the wear indicator. And the one that have the wear indicator, you put it on, and the wear in indicator go at the bottom. All right. All right. So both pads are in, properly mounted inside. Preferable mounting and secure. So now it's time to um bring the caliper down and get your 14 millimeter. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm trying to use one hand hold my phone and another hand to um do the job. All right. good right there and now it's time to put on your tire and go pump your brakes up all right all right so um, put the tire on I don't believe I need to show you how to put a tire on so I didn't video that I'm just gonna lower the car and pump the brakes up even though I don't need to show you how to pump the brakes up but oh well excuse the mess so, all the way to the ground, lay it all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, and you should feel your pedal up already. You can crank the car. And also do some pump, some more pumps, all right? And that's it. how you pump the brakes and thank you guys please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to help me help you this could be your next video that I'm working on your next car that I'm working on 
and this video helped you to move forward with whatever problem you have. So please go ahead and give, give it a thumbs up and hit the like button. Alright, see you next time.